Now, the Oliver Tambo Memorial Lecture is taking place tonight at the Birchwood Hotel and Conference Center in Ekurileni, the East Rand. The keynote address will be delivered by leading a respected African-American anti-apartheid activist and U.S. Congresswoman Maxine Waters. We cross now live to our reporter, Mangoba Mkhunu, who's there. Mangoba, what is the scene like at the moment? Well, certainly, it's a piece, so I can tell you that it's a hive of activity here at the Birchwood Hotel, as we expect uh, that uh, sixth uh, Oliver Tambo Memorial Lecture to take place here uh, later on. Of course, we do know that uh, the U.S. Congressman Maxime Waters is expected to address that event. But just to take a bit of a look of uh, the life and times of Oliver Tambo, of course, being one of the most important presidents of the ANC, one of the longest-serving presidents of the ANC, having started... Uh, leading the party as early as the 1960s in 1967, uh, of course, at the death of uh, the then president, uh, uh, Chief Albert Lutuli, and of course, taking the party right up until 1991 as its president, and of course, doing this while he was in exile. We recall that in 1967, of course, he was uh, given an instruction by Chief Albert Lutuli to go abroad and be the international diplomat of the ANC. And of course, from there, after his death, he then took over the reins. And of course, keeping the party alive for three decades, having served as its president for three decades. But more than that, he was instrumental in the, found, in the founding of the ANC Youth League in 1943, as well as also very instrumental also in the growing and development on the, of the party itself, having been uh, one of those who was involved also in the Morogoro Conference. You recall that in the Morogoro Conference, this is where his presidency was affirmed. Of course, at the time, there were complaints that uh, the party had been losing time touch with uh, its support base and of course some tough decisions were taken there from that conference with the party really doing a self introspection looking into itself and looking how it can self correct and how it can still remain relevant to the people on the ground especially in South Africa so his role was significant we do know that during that Morocomo conference as well that this is where the clause or the resolution was taken on racialism in the party and to actually allow other uh, other uh, other races to be part of the ANC. So it was really a watershed moment for the party and of course with the, the direction and leadership of Oliver Tambo at the time. Of course he also came back in the country in the 1990s from exile and was still involved in uh, as, you know in the ANC itself and also in negotiating for the release of uh, the then uh, arrested uh, Nelson Mandela at the time. And of course he was also very involved in the ANC in the lead up to uh, the democratic dispensation that you saw. So this is really a great man. Of course, it comes also at a time when the ANC itself is uh, doing an introspection on itself. It's launched a new program, a year-long program of rejuvenating itself, revitalizing itself under the theme following in the footsteps of Tambo. So this event coming at the time where the ANC itself is saying that let's look at how Tambo had led the movement and let's learn from his example. And that's the echo or the sentiments that we're expecting to hear from this uh, gathering here today where we're really going to hear about his involvement and his sacrifice and his commitment in the cause for fighting against apartheid. And of course, the person giving or the guest, the main speaker here at this event, uh, the U.S. Congresswoman Maxine Waters, also having been involved herself in the fight against apartheid in the U.S., having been actively involved in mobilizing and uh, also protest in the U.S. against apartheid, but also in the 1985 disinvestment of corporations that were doing business with South Africa. So she herself has been involved and her heart really here in South Africa during the apartheid struggle. And of course, she was also close and she had met Oliver Tambo at the time and also received uh, the companions of Oliver Tambo as part of an honor for her role in fighting apartheid. So we're expecting to hear what she has to say and of course, what are some of the things and the legacy that uh, we should learn from Oliver Tambo as he would have celebrated his 102nd birthday tomorrow.